As we've previously reported, it appears the gear maker will indeed be participating in G4. Originally centered around peace efforts, the summit was rumored to include an announcement of America's demilitarization and discussions of human gear coexistence. However, with the interference of the gear maker and the questions about security, the current plan for the conference is unknown. All we do know is that the whole world will be watching. Against expert opinions, each country in attendance has opted to converse with the devil himself. Perhaps their curiosity has outweighed their common sense. Thank you for coming, everyone. Though the last minute inclusion of the gear maker has changed today's schedule somewhat. The purpose of our meeting today remains the same. A new peace for a new era. And with our allied nations and the gear maker united around one table, I firmly believe that this day will be one for the history books. Now then, allow me to introduce you to the man who will be acting as our moderator in my stead. The gear maker, Mr. Asuka R. Kreutz. Thank you. I don't intend to waste your time by introducing myself. Please turn to your pre-provided materials and... Oh. Forgive me, I couldn't help but notice that there was no mention of certain recent incidents, so I went ahead and added that information personally. I attempted to maintain objectivity as best I could. I trust you'll find it agreeable. Uh, thank you. But when did you have the time? <laughs> he lives up to his nickname. People call him the King of Groundwork. They do. He's awkward. Yeah. Whatever I imagined, it wasn't this. May we continue? Eno could escape at any time. I assumed she'd vanished the moment Soul set off, but... Should I go get you a blanket? Only thing you'll catch in here is a cold. Asuka wanted to save you. What, did you forget? You're the one who changed me. I didn't change anything. I merely showed you the truth. Well, that explanation sure takes a lot of responsibility off your shoulders. Then what would you say I did? You showed me too much. I realize that I am the world. And because you fear me, you're trying to make me a simple human. You knew? Yeah, learned that along with a whole lot of other shit I didn't want to know. All thanks to you. I also know that you can turn me human at the cost of your own life. Want to give it a try? Maybe before G4 ends? I could, if you'd like. But there's something I have to ask you first. This world you're after, what exactly is your wish? It was around the 20th century, I guess. There was a man in the slums named Will. The son of some rich guy and his wife. I can't even remember his face. But I recall he had beautiful blonde hair, like a woman's. He was a weird one. He'd always get into fights, but he'd cry after he hit someone. Told me that after he'd lost the strength to throw a punch, he couldn't get anything out but tears. And I couldn't say why, but everyone always ended up on his side in the end. That included me. Well, our relationship was a little closer than that. We swore our futures to one another, throwing away our old lives and names. I'd like to say we were happy. Until one day, Will suddenly disappeared. Didn't say a word to anyone and he never came back. No cop or journalist could ever tell me why. I didn't plan on giving up on him, but I made myself a promise anyway. No matter what happened, 
I would never forget my memories with Will. And yet, all those memories are fuzzy. Any guesses why? Because they never happened. Not in the second version of the 20th century. I have no past. Which means I have no future. I just want to get out of this empty cage. Even at the cost of everything else? A deer runs and a lion chases. Which one would you say God supports? I can only measure things in terms of loss and gain. Then mind if I ask you something? Is your world so valuable that it's okay for you to crush mine? Nothing is mine, nor yours. The world is simply the world. So if we do find ourselves in an era of everlasting peace, will there be any place for you in it? We need to go join Sol. Why? Eno let something slip during your conversation. She said, before G4 ends, it's likely that she let herself be captured so that G4 could proceed. That's when they'll make their move, I'm sure of it. But that means it's even more important that we stay here. If you were listening in, you have to know why. I do. Your hypothetical was true. You have the power to stop Eno. But are you really alright with never being able to see Soul's face again? My goal is to awaken Arya. But at my very core, my role is to protect the world. Uh, then why did you ask Eno that question? As I thought, you can't save the world as things are now. This is most puzzling. This story of yours conflicts with history as we've come to know it, and the incident reports we've seen. Indeed. According to these documents, you're more of a guardian angel than a devil. I'll give you this much. Regardless of the veracity of what you've shared with us, you do have a way with words. This is incredibly detailed and easy to understand. Which raises a question. If you merely wish to share this information with us, you easily could have written this up, signed it, tossed it in the mail, and been done with it. I believe that a document alone might have been somewhat lacking in credibility. Not to be rude, but I'm sure you realize that we can't take your words at face value either. So why risk a lifetime of imprisonment by showing up here? I must admit, it has us curious. That's certainly fair. I'm here because... I have a request for all of you. A request? That's right. Though having this conversation may bring us rushing to our main point of order. Is that all right with everyone? How ominous. You make it sound like we should batten down the hatches. Very well. Tell us. A suspicious man is approaching the front entrance. He seems to be accompanied by a soldier. Have you received word of this? Moving to confirm. Hold it! Who is that man? Where are you taking him? Ah. Sorry to bug you, but could you tell me the location of, uh... Every guard in the White House. What did you say? Understood. Oh, that's a nice jacket you've got there. The Tome of Origin. As the name would imply, everything sprang forth from its pages. This book makes anything possible. It granted magic to mankind, crafted our future, and with it, the risk of our downfall. The tome itself, however, has no will. It provides what is asked of it, urging caution as it complies. Of course, its power is too great for mankind to wield. Under my authority as its current owner, 
I intend to dispose of the tome. Oh. We obviously understand the dangers the tome poses. But is such an extreme measure necessary? Could we not conceal or protect it? Perhaps, if not for those who would desire and seek it. The tome has such tremendous potential. It could help us build a better future. You would toss aside its value as well as its danger. Value? What value could it hold that we currently lack? For example, what value does this $10 bill hold? You could treat yourself to a little something. Well, to the extremely rich, it's hardly worth the paper it's printed on. On the other hand, in the country of Valupia, this one bill could feed an entire family for three months. Value changes based on where you stand. Before we seek out an uncertain future, we must attend to things in the present. Well, aren't you a romantic? Is this meant to be your atonement? No. My venture. My final venture as a scientist. And so begins at long last. My world peace experiment. This is unsettling. I feel more anxious the longer things continue without incident. Even now that Jacko's gone, Eno shows no signs of movement. I can't imagine our worries are baseless. I hate to admit it, but it's actually quite reassuring having you here with us. King Leo. Do you know why I decided to come back to work here? Or rather, why my friend gave his all to protect the post-war administration bureau? Milia and my subordinates do not fear judgment. In fact, we are ready to accept it. We did not choose this path to evade your punishment. If those who have sinned do not seek forgiveness, then they're just like me, walking corpses. Lesser even than the lowest criminals. I came back because they wish to remain human. Does that mean I can mercilessly boss them around? By the way, what shall we do about the treasure? Leave it be. No matter what we find, it won't be something we can discuss today. I suppose you're right. All we can do is leave things to Sol in the on-site security. Hmm? What's wrong? Well... What the hell is going on? The black box is opening. What? We've been hacked. Someone has stolen the data. I don't care how. Just put a stop to this. No. It's already done. It would appear they set up the hack to display this now. For whatever reason, the perpetrator wants us to see this. Zato, tell me this is some sick joke. I'm not getting any contact from the White House. Group 2, report. I'm not sure you know how tense things are getting in here, but you've got everyone on edge. I'd like to hear more. In that case... Hmm? Asuka? What a show you've put on, Asuka. Identify yourself. 
Happy chaos. That voice. Who are you? Oh, don't tell me you've forgotten about little old me. I suppose that's fair, given the state I'm in now. Man, do I ever want to have a nice long chat with you. But that'll have to wait. What? what? You really gotta look someone in the eyes to communicate. No more phone calls today. Damn it. It's not connecting. Did he truly shut down the system on his own? But how is any of this possible? Not only did he know of Happy Chaos, he even knew my name. World peace, huh? Neither optimistic sermons nor genocidal weapons have unified us just yet, I suppose. Hey, where are the guards? Who let him in here? The guards? You mean like the guy who gave me this jacket? Give the guy a day off. Yeah, so anyways, first I'd like to... Perhaps you took a wrong turn. The exit's behind you. Did you stand back? Mingui, no, Striper. Oh, calm down. There's still time to save him, provided you don't cut me off again. That is. <laughs> Though to be fair, I did interrupt you guys first. That's on me. Let me try introducing myself. What? That's a weapon called a gun. When you pull the trigger, a bullet comes out. Those bullets kill people. Let's try shooting that scary looking guy right there. No! There's no way I could ever. Oh, I'm quite sure you can. Just trust me. I can't! I'm gonna count to three. And if you don't shoot by the time I'm done, everyone will die. Please! One... I can't do this! I won't! Two... I, I, you can't be serious! Three... <laughs> Way to go. You made the best choice you could, given the situation. Feeling better now, hmm? All right, then. Let's all give Oscar a hand. What? What? what is this? World peace. Ready in just five minutes. Now what? An unregistered weapon of mass destruction has been activated. A weapon of mass destruction? Y yes, sir. We're getting a signal from the level 5 sub-basement. It's a strategic weapon. This is impossible. It's cleared all protocols simultaneously. We're getting external interference. It can't be. Is this the work of that hacker? What's the target? The United States! Cut the main power. We can't shut it down or restart it. We're completely shut out. This is madness. Do something about it. This is about to start another world war. Prepare the auxiliary power source. It will be faster to do this manually. What do you plan to do? Take care of this myself. Thirty minutes ago. Bugs. 
auxiliary power activated. We've regained control. Then it worked. It did, but only for the weapons in the castle. Every other weapon in Illyria has been launched. Alert! The United States has launched weapons against Illyria! The ultimate magic-based anti-gear weapon, Albatross. You guys dream that one up, right? I just fired them all. No way. You're insane! Do you realize what you've done? Duh. What the hell is this? If you press that button, the missiles will self-destruct. Press it or don't. That's up to you. But if nothing happens in the next five minutes, we'll be starting over from the Stone Age. It worked! Congratulations. You just created a world with no weapons. What are you after? Can't you tell? You didn't need to offer us that choice. Was all this just to show off your powers? Yep, but I'm not after your fancy watches and rings. So whatever could I want? He's a magic wielder, with skills far beyond top class. There's no way he's... All Albatross missiles have self-destructed. None of this makes any sense. This is a D1 order. Into the White House and confirm the safety of the President. Now, damn it! Would you join them? I have only one request. The book. Book? Yeah. The one Asuka's got. Only problem is, little rascals hiding behind a door I can't open. And the only one who can open it is me. And you expect me to just quietly obey? Do you need me to reintroduce myself? I'll do it. I'll do it, so just stop. I'll take you to the gear maker. M Mr. President! Get down. Now there's a freelancer who takes pride in his work. Good. Things are finally getting interesting. You were just in time. I can't thank you enough. Save it for once we're outside. Where's the exit? What? I can't leave the other representatives behind. You can't afford not to. It's all over if he gets his hands on you. But... Heal. Nice work. It won't go as well if more of them find us. Can we get somewhere safe? Safe? Hmm? We're in the White House. 
The whole place is supposed to be safe. Shit. I don't care where we go. We just need to move. Chairman, we're still unable to make contact with the White House. Send in Echo Team. Continue calling and send reinforcements. This just in. We've heard that all of the magic-based missiles have self-destructed mid-launch. The government has not yet issued a statement, but it seems as though the Army is investigating under the presumption that the launch was some sort of accident. However, the possibility remains that this was some sort of demonstration against G4. Security around the White House has... Are you guys selling those uniforms to your gift shop or something? And where the hell are your guards? I saw it with my own eyes, but I still can't believe it. Chaos has the power to manipulate people's appearances and minds alike. He's brainwashed our entire security staff. There's no way I can leave everyone behind. We need to let people know what's going on in here and call for backup. I'm not running until that's done. Trust me, if it were possible, they'd be here already. I haven't tried contacting Kai, but none of my calls connect. It's likely that all transmissions are being jammed. Ugh. What about a hotline that doesn't use magic? There's a country that continues to use forbidden machines. Seth, huh? How can you contact them? This building is an antique, you see. It's in the air command post. You're a stubborn bastard, you know that? It's how I won the election, actually. Oh. What's that? That was a close one. There's a guard bot up there. They attack anything that enters their line of sight. Echo team reporting in. We've arrived at the White House. What's the situation? It's the same as the footage. Soldiers are continuing to patrol Area 4. It seems they're unaware of the situation. Make contact, but use caution. Understood. Moving to make contact. Shouldn't you be pursuing the President? Wait, you can talk? Yes, I believe I just did. Wow, you could even hold a conversation. You seem quite comfortable for a man in a stranger's home. I take it this is all going to plan? <laughs> Not quite. The perfect plan never beats an improvised one. That's how I work. Clearly. Normally a plan so brazen would never work. Normally. On that note... That knight from the Chinese Federation will die if you leave him be. We got terrorists in the White House and just fired every WMD in the world, and yet no one's come to save you. Are these normal occurrences to you? <laughs> Wake up already. We left normal behind a long time ago. What's with the mask? We've issued an emergency order. Why haven't you- Open fire! Cease fire! What the hell? We seem to be witnessing a firefight on the perimeter of the White House. It's chaos down there. There is still no official word about what's going on, or whether it's related to the weapons of mass destruction. Mr. Sick. 
secretary. Huh. Fall back for now. out there a d1 order must have been issued some time ago from the sound of things i would imagine chaos has backup troops outside as well you hear that something's going down outside stop if that gun notices you you're gonna be swiss cheese don't move a muscle How did you know? Hmm? How did you know that machine wouldn't come our way? My gut. Your gut's gonna be all over this vent if you're not more logical next time. You told me I couldn't save the world. What did you mean? You don't even know what the world is yet. But I could still stop Eno. Then why did you come with me? I... don't know. As I am now, I can't really do anything. Yeah. You're human. A regular human. Which is why you don't always act logically. Quite some time ago, Soul went into the castle's food storage area. Broken, to be more precise. Since I found the door in shambles. In any case, I came running when I heard the noise. He calls it a refrigerator, but as with all of the castle's facilities, it's spacious to the point of absurdity. Even finding someone in there is no simple task. In time, I found Soul in front of a wall of 5,000 liters of liquor. 84 varieties all lined up and organized. Now, I can't judge the cost of alcohol by sight alone, but I did recognize the bottle he held in his hands. It was the same kind of cheap liquor you can find in nearly any restaurant. I told him he could have at least chosen something worth the cost of repairs to the door. How do you think he responded? There's hundreds of better drinks out there, but I always end up choosing this one. Choosing? That's right. He chose it not for its quality, but because it fits his tastes. You'll understand that, eventually. And a day will come when you find that contradiction beautiful. People have their necessary frivolities. Necessary frivolities. This is it. He's on patrol. He'll be gone soon. He didn't notice us. <gasps> Sir. 
so I wasn't just hearing things. We're gonna be fine. What do we do? Stay completely still. Oh, like that's logical. What the? Sure it is. say we're gonna be fine? I mean it. Why is that? This is a relic from an age gone by. I've heard it's more of a wiretap than a telephone. Though most local civilians have been evacuated, we have confirmed that some have been left behind. We cannot yet speak to the number of losses. Meanwhile, police, civilians, and the military have joined together in a desperate attempt at saving lives. President Gabriel, we're receiving a call on the emergency hotline. Oh? Then why haven't you picked up? Well, it's an unregistered number, sir, so frankly... There's no telling who might be calling. What? Trace the call. Yes, sir. They picked up. national security. If you intend to keep it busy as some sort of childish prank, we reserve the right to take all necessary defensive measures. Within five seconds, we will have your location traced. Within 15 minutes, the tactical nuke should arrive. If you feel any responsibility whatsoever for the poor souls within three kilometers of you, then don't ever call this number again. What? <sighs> How'd it go? They're gonna drop a nuke on us. Huh? Did you find them? Yes, sir. But, uh... The call came from the White House. There's currently so much gunfire around the White House that it could safely be called a war zone. With no information regarding the dignitaries of each country inside, many are concerned for their safety. <sighs> the White House just contacted Zep via the emergency hotline. They'll be sharing the call with major organizations from each country. The president is unharmed! Fantastic. My apologies, Vernon. Glad to hear you're all right. For now, yes, but we don't have much time. I'm going to tell you all I know, so listen carefully. The White House has been taken over by terrorists. I managed to get away, but the others are being held captive in the conference room. Someone's injured, too. If you can, please, send back up right away. Do you know who's responsible? Only his name. He calls himself Happy Chaos. Happy? He's after Asuka's tone. And to get it, he needs me to give him access to the PEOC. How many troops does he have? I can't say. They're everywhere and heavily armed. That doesn't make sense. How would they get past security? I don't want to admit it, but most likely. The security officers were brainwashed. Dickinson! Echo Team and I saw it with our own eyes. I'm sure of it. Do you understand what this means? In this complex alone, we have over 300 station officers. It's not safe to stay here. The moment this call is done, we're going to try to escape. But we will need backup immediately. Hold your horses. It's just as dangerous outside as in. 
Mr. President, I believe it would be wise for you to retreat to the PEOC until backup arrives. Not a chance. We can't let Happy Chaos gain access to the PEOC. And you don't have to worry about me. I'm with Soul Bad Guy. Oh, is that Soul Bad Guy? In that case, head to the parking lot from the West Wing. That should be your quickest and safest route out of there. That's where I'll pick you up. See you there. Signing off now. Send in the reinforcements. So, what do you plan to do after this? Mm hmm? Will you be reading that book in your jail cell? I can't say I've ever heard of a case in which a single criminal successfully overthrew a government. Nor has the White House ever been taken over. There's a first time for everything. I just find it a tad curious. You could have made your demands after launching the missiles. Why didn't you? Do you have a name, O King of Illyria? Daryl. All right, Daryl. I'll indulge your question. I don't want to just make history. I want to make history fun. I want to write a script for reality and enjoy some authentic drama. Haven't you had your fun already, then? Look at the state you have us in. Oh, don't get me wrong. I take no joy in seeing people suffer. I want to see them struggle. Semantics. Not at all. A wax figure and a human being. At a glance, it's hard to tell the difference. But the two are entirely different, no? Let's say my goal was to create the strongest shield ever. How would I go about doing that? By creating the strongest sword. A sword justifies the existence of a shield. Humanity has always exhausted every possibility. That's the exact sort of drama I want to see. What was the motive behind your initial goal, then? Without the sword, the shield would be unnecessary. The motive? Sorry, to me the very idea of a motive is nonsense. Cause I'm a wax figure, you see. This place seems safe enough. First, I'll take out the guys by the side entrance. I'm sure someone will notice the noise, but I'll deal with it. Well, I've got them distracted. You make for the exit as fast as you can. Can we pull it off? Brown bears don't give birth to pandas. If you believe in that, you can believe in me. Then what will you do? I've got unfinished business with Oscar. I see. Thank you. You've been an immense help. I'm not a handshake kind of guy. This world is brimming with potential. So long as humans put in the effort, they can realize true greatness. Make it a reality. The miracles of nonfiction surpass even the most masterful works fiction writers can dream up. However, if some lady of the lake rose up out of the water and offered you any book in the world, no one would ask for a history book. That's because reality isn't very fun. Can you truly say that a reality you're scripting is non-fiction? Is a robbery happening on the other side of the world right now real to you? We all write the script of our own lives. Our reality is what's written on our own page. Nothing more. The important thing... ...is whether or not we can experience it for ourselves. I'm going to write the history books of the future. And a hundred years from now... Kids won't be falling asleep in class anymore. Huh? The sensors have picked up on a heat source within the White House. A heat source? Don't tell me. But how? 
This really is Project Tiernanog. without so much as a word of official instruction to local residents. We received word that just before this chaos began, there were reports of a suspicious group sighted in the vicinity of the White House. Suffice it to say, the safety of the President and those I must inside admit, the White this House turn of events remains surprises a me. During the war, there were military-industrial complexes the government didn't know about all over the world. And this White House here was built to shelter a small number of the villains who ran them. A Noah's Ark of their own. Uh, uh, Didn't think it was possible to get sent back to before the starting line. You got any more house rules I should know about? I'm wondering the same thing. The White House has completely left our line of sight. What about radar? I've checked, but they seem to be using stealth magic. So we have to rely on our own eyes. Set up anything that can fly. Don't let it out of our sight. Secretary Goldblatt. Second King. Do you have any information on that aircraft? Last time I checked, uh, the White House couldn't fly. So Billion was right. Do you know something? I do. If you're going to pursue that, you'd better be careful. It's not exactly an airline. Secretary, one of our planes has visual contact. It does. This is Firefly 3 reporting in. Unable to establish communication with Apple. I'm going to attempt an in-air landing. Yes, we did it. We did it. Hmm. No, wait. Don't get too close. What is that thing? We've lost contact with Firefly 3. Is this a nightmare? How could he have known of Tir Nanog? More than that, how is he able to control it? Chaos has to be. A call? Do we have reception now? No. This is a magic signal intrusion. Only one person could pull this off. Oscar? True. Are you all right? I wish. They got me locked down. I'm here with Vernon. Good to hear. You rescued him, I presume? Keep him safe at all costs. If the enemy truly is after the tome, we cannot afford to let him have it. There's something I gotta know. Can just about anybody read the tome? They cannot. Only me. Just what are you? You really want to know? That man, Chaos. He's my teacher. History's first and strongest magic wielder. The original. The original? The man who introduced the world to magic? But... 
The Gear Maker's teacher, the author of the Tome of Origin, the father of magic, and the savior who opened our minds and spearheaded mankind's revival when the world lost its science. Only one of you is telling the truth. Is it you, or these documents? Neither. Back when I was the person you and Asuka knew. This, and this, weren't broken yet. Hmm. You sure that guy's your teacher? His appearance and demeanor have changed considerably, but his aptitude for magic is undeniable. Oh, uh, great. So we're headed for the worst case scenario. Headed for? Is that some kind of joke? How could things get any worse than they already are? Chaos's goal is to make Eno complete. Eno. You thinking what I'm thinking? Chaos already has Eno's other half. There's no way. My teacher would never do such a thing. Fine. Then what do you think his next step is? <sighs> All right. I'll give it some thought. Meanwhile, please try to stay safe. This wouldn't be a bad place to fight, but we don't have an escape route either. We might end up moving, depending on how things shake out. I'll pray for your safety. But how much worse can this get? Hey. Yeah? I can see what looks like an aircraft up ahead. Are we on the right route? Let me confirm. This is TH-108. We have eyes on an unidentified aircraft. Requesting information. Over. Mm, that's not right. There are no flight plans that should be overlapping with TH-108's route. We're not showing anything on radar, either. Over. This is the captain speaking. Respectfully, that's impossible. I can see it with my own two eyes. It's a massive aircraft. At this rate, we're at risk of impact. Requesting evasive assistance. Over. That's odd. Is there any response from the TCAS or ADS? TH-10 should be the only aircraft here. Holy your shit! It's the White House! The aircraft ahead of us is the White House! Come again? Taking evasive maneuvers! Is that Air Force One? The backup is on the way. Good. The PWAB will be issued orders in cooperation with ZEP. Change your communication channel to 7.1 to confirm. Confirmed. Understood. Still, the Post War Administration Bureau? I get it, but right now those ex assassins know more about the White House situation than we do. Save your complaints for later. This is Milia Rage, director of the PWAB. Do any of you have a visual on the White House? Naval officer Dawkin reporting. Gargoyle 3 is tracking their signal. Thank you, Dawkin. If that craft is armed, make sure it maintains a distance of 500 meters. The White House is a fortress. It's equipped with a system that detects aircraft transponders and automatically intercepts. Stand by outside of the effective range and avoid contact until further orders. Roger that. Now that we've located it, we face a new issue. We're unable to act until we make contact with the inside or it runs out of fuel and crashes. We need an aircraft that the White House cannot see. I believe we could be of service on that front. No, it's not a suitable craft for hostages. And I can't guarantee it will make it in time. It's better than sitting here twiddling our thumbs. Please send it. Right away. We'll work on what we can from our end. Plot the White House's route based on its current vector from Washington, D.C. Chief of Staff Erica Bartholomew has given us access to their confidential files. With international cooperation, we will now proceed with our analysis of the black box. Hopefully we'll find a clue. Here's hoping. What's the damage report? Initial reports say 48 police and soldier casualties. But that doesn't account for the numerous civilians caught up in all this. <sighs> Was this a political group? Some single ideologue? Hilaria tried to warn us. I downplayed the danger because Eno was in custody. These deaths are my responsibility. I don't know who they are, but the enemy is in there. This is no time to beat yourself up. We've worked together for a long time. 
I know you could do this on your own. <laughs> Only if blaming you for this made me twice as efficient. Listen, if working together for a long time builds trust, then there's no one you should trust more than yourself. <laughs>